Ancients, humans. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Robo's Buddy! You thought I was a real tough guy, eh? It could be someone who's a hard man. American? No, that sounds like a fake accent. Well, that's just my shell. I'm actually a real softy who's part of a machine. Do you think that's a man? Yeah, it's a man, I think. You sound like a girl. Now, I'm not gonna rabbit on about hard exteriors. But I will say that I'm here to control, alt, delete what you know about me. Control, alt, delete? Maybe it's somebody who likes computers or video games. So buckle up, because I came to play. Let's hop to it! Are there, actual, there are actual Ooh. people in the carrots! Oh my god! A few stolen moments is all that we share. You got your family and they need you there. <laughs> Though I try to resist being last on your list, but no other man's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. Davina, what did you think? What just happened? I just, I have no idea. Well, I didn't I mean... think this show could get any weirder. <laughs> well, first off, that was so unexpected and completely extraordinarily beautiful. So thank you so much. <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure whether you were going to be a man or a woman. It's a man. It could be a man and a woman. <laughs> like, where, though? They could be, like, lying across this bit, maybe. <laughs> Back to you, Davina, sorry. So, Troll, Alt, Delete. Yes. Drake had a song called Controller. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, maybe it could be Drake. Yeah. Um, but then I was thinking Robot Wars, so I'm going to go with Dara O'Brien. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Wow. It could be. It sounded a bit like it. I mean, I'm never right normally, but I'm excited with this one. <laughs> I like that. Mo Gilligan. So when I looked at some of the clues, there was a, there was a tough guy, and then I thought there was the thing of like machine, right? So I thought of a film that's called uh, Machine in the title, which is Mean Machine. Vinnie Jones is in that. So I thought it could be Vin Vinnie Jones. That's good. And he can sing. He can sing, Mo. He can yeah. sing as he well. He can sing. Yeah. Jonathan, what well, are you thinking, my friend? First of all, can I say I'm a little bit worried about the health of the four carrots in the pot? Yeah. So they <laughs> yes. 
They're having a real crash right now. We, want, we need to get them some sugar or something, because they're in a bad way. But when, when he first came out in the robo suit, I thought, could it be? Could my prayers have been answered? Could it be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like this? <laughs> I'm still holding on some hope. Get to the chopper! <laughs> Uh, but I love that performance. I mean, if I had to be pushed up, I'm going to go with... Uh, what was that popular singer you mentioned earlier? Drake. Yes, I'll go with him. <laughs> <laughs> Rita. You know, first of all, this is by far one of my favourite outfits that I've seen on The Masked Singer. Yeah, 100%. Yes, it's so nice. good, yes. And they're living and breathing it. And... I'm thinking more sort of like cars, Top Gear. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Top okay. Gear. Okay. So like Paddy. Machine. Paddy McGuinness. Machi Paddy McGuinness machine. I'm gonna go with that. No lighty, no lighty. If we're talking about Top Gear, he doesn't do Top Gear anymore, but he is now a farmer. Stephen Fry. He... No, not Stephen Fry. <laughs> he never did Top Gear. Did he do Top Gear? No. no Stephen Fry wouldn't have done. What did he do? This is a lovely motor vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> It could be Jeremy Clarkson in there, don't you think it could be? <laughs> Do you guys want a clue? Yes, yes please. Yes. Have you got a uh, fact for us, Robo Bunny? Why don't you take a look for yourself, wise guy? There's on a the QR back. code on the back. Joel, if you scan it, you'll find out you've got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. oh, yeah, open QR code. It says, uh, I might be made of metal. But that doesn't stop me making a splash. Has that helped? It's helped as much as they ever do, which is not at all. <laughs> I think it's Elon Musk. Elon Musk? You're going <laughs> Elon Musk? Yeah. Elon Where Musk. did that even come from? Oh, I don't know. Elon Musk I is carrying this. Grimes in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's inside this carrot-growing machine? Well, only vitamin C when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robo Bunny. <laughs> It's definitely Elon Musk. It's Elon Musk. Have the panel guessed Robo Bunny's identity, or are they going down the wrong rabbit hole? What a performance! The panel really do like to rabbit on, don't they? But have they rumbled this rabbit? I'm not telling. Night, carrot, action. Robo Bunny take one, mark it. In my first performance, my medal was tested as the panel tried to get a laser focus on the person behind the bunny. with their best shots. Dara O'Brien. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Vinnie Jones. Elon Musk. But they'll need to swing bigger to land a hit on this rabbit. Feel it like a giant walking over walls. Doing what I do, it can feel like everyone wants a piece of you. Literally. Police badge. Cowboy. Must be an actor. I'm talking hair today, gone tomorrow. So it's nice when I get the time to head back to base and enjoy some time on the ranch. That's the finish, people. Oh, yes! Nothing makes me happier than standing on my deck with nothing around me but a little bit of country. Maybe it's a country singer. I think it could be someone from a different country. Now, I might be a small bunny in a big mechanical suit, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy a good boogie. You're really wondering who I am right now, aren't you? Well, get in line. He must be an American. Line dancing. I'm taking to the stage again, so get ready. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. It is a man. I think it's a man. Let's hear the singing again tonight. Oh, I love this song. Tell me something good. <laughs> Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? Trying to throw us off. In all the good times, I find myself not 
something, boy. Oh, come on, man. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Or do you need more? Ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore? I'm falling. In all the good times, I find myself longing for change. And in the bad times, I fear myself. Jonathan, who do you think it is? I don't know who it is just yet, but that was a 24 carat performance. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Here's my guest. He lives on a ranch, which ties into that oh, clue. Yeah. He also had probably one of the biggest line dancing hits of all time. I think it's Billy Ray hey, Cyrus yeah. in there. Wow. That's who I think it is. Davina, your mouth is open. I just need to let you know that, just in case you don't know. I mean, he does some really silly ones, and then he just... I just want to beat Rita. <laughs> Rita. I think that Robo Bunny is definitely one of the greatest singers we've had on this show. Wow. Are you an actor? The cowboy, the, the police badge. What do actors read when they shoot movies? Scripts. I think you're a singer. There is a band called The Script. Danny O'Donoghue from The Script, the main singer. That's who I think it's Wow. Yeah. Mo. So the character is called Robo Bunny, and I thought maybe the clue could possibly be looking at me in my face. If I take the R and the B, that gives me the initials RB. So I thought possibly it could be my good friend, very funny, can also sing, all round entertainer. It could be Richard Blackwood. You can sing quite yeah, well. Yeah, Richard Blackwood can sing. Davina McCall. Yes, I um, loved that performance. I did think of Village People. Is it an American? And I saw the cowboy boots and the line dancing. Is Kevin Bacon? Oh, wow, that's a good, that's a good one. Kevin Bacon. Oh. Joel, you look so worried. So, I look so, yeah. I'm just thinking about the fact that I'm stood this close to Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Do you guys want some more clues? Yes. yes. OK, well, it's time for two lies and a truth, meaning two clues are just there to confuse you. Robo Bunny, can you give us our first clue, please? These metal shoes are made for more than moonwalking. These metal shoes are made for more than moonwalking. Who sung the song, These Shoes Are Made For Walking? Nancy Sinatra. It's not her. <laughs> 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 Next clue, please. I'm not one for revenge, but I'll always get payback. Payback? Not one for revenge, payback. but I always get payback. Our third one, please. It was a knockout performance that launched my career. Oh, knockout, knockout. performance that knockout launched my career. I've got it. Who is it, Jonathan? Is knockout it? performance launched yeah. his career. We know him primarily as an actor, but I've had the pleasure of hearing him sing socially, and he's got a voice like a nightingale. It's Sylvester Stallone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> From the Rocky movie. Sylvester Stallone! <laughs> Rocky, it could be the only match. We'll only see who's burrowed inside when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robo Buddy! <laughs> that was really amazing. I need, I need this costume, man. Have the panel decoded Robo Bunny's identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? Ironically, 
there was nothing robotic about my performance. <laughs> In my last performance, the panel were deeply moved by my version of Shallow. I'm off the deep end. What is that about me? But they've still not even given one name that's close. Richard Blackwood. Danny O'Donoghue. Kevin Bacon. It's Sylvester Stallone, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> I think it might be a woman. It's well known that rabbits come from big families, and this bunny is no exception. Big families? Who's got a big family that we know in showbiz? You could definitely say it was Papa Bunny who inspired my talent. Boxing glove say M.A. Barbara Streisand. And that's the gospel truth. You want another truth? Gospel music. Sometimes people have said, isn't she good? Isn't she good? What? Does that mean you're a woman? Confused? Barbara Streisand. Great. Here we come. Ah, 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 in the stars tonight. So watch me bring the five step to night and night. Shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. King Kong, kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. Disco overload, I'm into that, I'm good to go. I'm diamond, you know I glow up. Hey, let's go. what they sing like. That's their singing voice. Bring your friend, join the crowd. Whoever want to come along. Word up, talk the talk, just move like you're off the wall. Day and night, the sky's the light, so we get to the break of dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the medicine, so let's raise it off from the wall. I have no this idea who this is. Heavy, so heavy, you can't hear the through my mood. Life is sweet as honey, yeah, this beat you dream like money. Shining to the city. What are you thinking? Oh, gosh. First of all, that falsetto is so strong. Make some noise for this opener, yeah. please. <laughs> if you look at the VT, there is an MA, OK? Automatically, I think, Muhammad Ali, right? And then I think, OK, who was in the Muhammad Ali movie? Somebody who has a great, successful singing career is Will Smith. Davina, come to you next. I basically was going down the route of, I think it could be a woman who is singing deep and um, she did a gospel movie called Twist of Faith. Old school, Tony Braxton. Yeah, I love Tony. Mo, so some of the clues I've seen, I've seen a big family and I thought possibly it could be Joe Jonas. Okay. Oh. I mean, there has never been so much silence in the audience. <laughs> you hear a pin drop. <laughs> Jonathan Ross. I know that this evening on the show, all of the songs that people sing, they're a clue as well. Yes. OK, so you were singing Dynamite, which was a big hit for BTS. I'm thinking, who do we know who has collaborated with BTS? Jason Derulo had a hit with BTS. I think it might be Jason Derulo. Yeah, that's a good guess. Wow. Tweet us your guesses for a chance to see them on screen this series, Mars Singer UK. What are you waiting for? I'm not being funny, but who's inside this bunny? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robo Bunny! <laughs> Oh, 
The panel are hopping mad trying to dig out this bunny's identity. Who do you think's behind the mask? I opened the show tonight with dynamite. Literally. The panel are all just rabbit, 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 rabbit. Ha <laughs> ha! Last time I sung dynamite. <laughs> Jason Derulo. Will Smith. Tony Braxton. It could be Joe Jonas. But have they rumbled this rabbit? I'm not telling. Being a rumble bunny. Hey, can I get some help over here? Thank you. Joe who? Cup of Joe. As I was saying, being a bunny, sometimes your batteries can feel a little bit drained. Diva. Maybe Diva was in the title of a show or something. And you need to take time out to recharge. Otherwise, you could shut down completely. Shut down. Someone had a mad career and then he re reinvented themselves. Hitting the reset button might seem like a scary thing to do, but it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. This person takes risks. Somebody made a comeback. And I couldn't be happier. Tonight, I'm all charged up and ready to put on a show. That is insane. That's got to be the maddest one. I love the carrots. Night time sharpens. Heightens each sensation Silently the senses Abandon their defenses Hopeless to resist The notes I write For I can pause the music of their night Oh my God! <laughs> Close your eyes, start a journey Phantom of the Hopra, everybody. Oh! Ollie, what did you think? Robo Bunny. You know how to sing, you know how to use your voice. The diva thing makes you think you trained in opera because you're a diva. Davina thought the traffic cone was Alfie Bow, but I think you are Alfie Bow. Oh! oh! oh that's good. That's a good step. Rita! Maybe you're someone who has got a lot of success, has taken a bit of a break. Um, Jason Derulo. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mo! Oh, man. Someone who's worked with a lot of divas, someone that's also had a very long music career, could be Nile Rogers. Wow. I can't tell whether that was people going, ooh, or whether that was a small breeze coming through <laughs> the room. <laughs> Jonathan. 
I was thinking the clue at the beginning, cup of Joe. Well, that's an American phrase for coffee. So I think it is an American person. Maybe it's someone who's played Joseph on stage. I think it's Donny Osmond in there. Okay. Wow. Okay. Some of the audience agree. Davina. I thought about somebody who is a Joey. I was thinking maybe Joey from Friends. Matt LeBron. It could be Matt LeBron. That's a great guess. Time for another clue, guys? You yeah. ready? Please. OK, time to head to Robo Bunny's socials. Let's have a look. You guys have been asking how you can get built like me. I never leave the hutch without carrot capsules. Great for the eyesight. And grease. That's great for oil and those squeaky joints. The link's in my bio. Maybe if it's not an American person, maybe it's someone who's played an American on stage mm. and someone who's been on stage in the musical Grease. Oh. Maybe it's Shane Ritchie. In <gasps> Interesting. We'll only see the ears behind the gears <laughs> when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. it's Robo Bunny! <laughs> Have the panel finally lifted the mask on our very own Phantom of the Opera? Who do you think's beneath the bunny? Joe, Joseph, Joey. The panel are obsessed with that name. But could it be mine? You'll have to wait and see. Rogers. Jason Derulo. Matt LeBron. I think it's Donny Osmond in there. And I'm not planning on getting busted anytime soon. <laughs> Everyone knows a bunny's got a tail, but this bunny's got tails to tell. And I've got a very special way of doing that. You've seen there's a rocket. Yeah, 3000. That's a song by Busty. Stories are personal things, and even though you might read plenty about me, being able to put things in my own words, in my own voice, has always been very rewarding. Rip it, wrap it, wrap it. Maybe it's someone who's got a catchphrase or something. Maybe. You can do whatever you like with words. They can express emotions, take you to far off places, and let you soar to great heights. That's not a real American. Definitely take American accent, yeah. Tonight, my performance will be filled with plenty of rocket fuel. Absolutely oh. staggering. Dame Joan, I'm going to come to you first. I, I totally agree with you. It's one of the best voices I've ever heard. He reminds me of somebody who I, I know quite well because he always sings at my charities, is Tony Hadley. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
Good to name. OK, Davina. So we saw the words um, year 3000. I thought busted. Charlie Simpson went off and did loads of rock music. But I don't know if you've heard his new stuff. He sings like an angel. His voice is incredible. So I'm going with Charlie Simpson. I'm really excited. Charlie Simpson is a good shout. Very popular with the audience. Mo. In the BT package, I heard clues of like writing your own songs. Um, someone who is part of a group, he probably writes his own songs. I think it's Donny Osmond. Mm, yeah. It's Donny Osmond. One of the clues that really uh, stuck out for me was the phrase he said, he landed on the phrase, phantom in the machine. The phrase is ghost in the machine. So the word he's changed is phantom. Who was the first person to play phantom of the opera in the West End? It was Michael Crawford. Oh, yeah. I think it might be Michael Crawford in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Michael Crawford. Rita. So I'm thinking Westlife, OK? Good. Yeah, good thing. I'm going to just go with it. He was always one of Before my... Before you do, though, Rita, he hasn't sat down on a stool once the whole competition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Mark. That's a new name I've just That's thrown in the mix. I'm going to throw in that guess. Yeah. I like it. Hey guys, I'm receiving word of a breaking clues story. It was a case of Easter coming early for one rabbit this year when they discovered that they were going to be immortalised in the Easter Hall of Fame. Hall Local of artisans fame. will sculpt the heavy metal icon out of the traditional ingredients found in Easter eggs. One woman said, seeing him up there in chocolate will melt my heart. Wait, oh. are you a heavy metal icon? I have no idea. It hasn't helped anyone at all? Well, who's the hair inside the hardware? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robo Bunny! <laughs> Will the panel need to control or delete on their guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? When I saw Joan on the panel, I thought they might have me busted. But their guessing is all over the place still. <laughs> to make it to the final, it's Robo Bunny! This world can hurt you, it cuts you deep and leaves a scar. Things fall apart, but nothing breaks like a heart. Ha! I want you to stand up, man! Clap your The coldest eyes were high and dry The desert wind is glowing It's glowing so Remember good. what she said to me We're drunk in love in Tennessee And I hold it I hold it And nothing, nothing, nothing's gonna save us now Come on! of an amazing vocalist this person is. All I'm thinking is, who is a rock star that can sing like a soul yeah. singer like this? Are you Usher? I mean, I mean, I don't know. Jonathan, what are you thinking? Tell you what I think is. I think someone's real control of their voice, a lot of fun. I think it's Alfie Bow. Oh, OK. I'm enjoying that. Davina, what are you thinking? I mean, tonight I said, 
um, Charlie Simpson, he can go from real soul to real rock just like that. Um, so I'm going to stick with Charlie Simpson. Good guess. OK, guys, ready for question time? Yes, yes. Oh, I feel like Fiona Bruce. <laughs> Davina! What we all are desperate to know, are you American? I can't tell you where I'm from, but I have circumnavigated the world over ten times. Oh. So it must be somebody on tour, an established rock star. Right. Can't be Richard Branson. <laughs> Richard Branson! <Yes. laughs> <laughs> Joel, do you know who I think it could be? It could be JK from Jamiroquai. Oh. Such a good guess. Are the panel clutching at straws? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Robo Bunny. <laughs> Are the panel's guesses for Robo Bunny hardwired? Who do you think's behind the mask? I mean, I thought that Joel was supposed to help the panel work out who I am. But they're guessing is all over the place still. <laughs> it's been a heap of fun hearing all the panel's guesses. I think it's Donny Osmond. Are you Usher? I'm Charlie Simpson. I think it's Alfie Bow. They think they're getting closer, but they're not even in the right field. Tonight is the last mile of the competition, and against all odds, I reach the final level. Why is it we in a video game? This is like 80s, 90s. I've hopped genre to genre to try and keep you guessing, but will I make the Hall of Fame? The Hall of Fame? But there's loads of different Halls of Fame. Score 14. They've won maybe 14 awards or something like that. I've played a long game, but it's tonight that we say farewell and the mask comes off. But will it be the person you thought it was hiding behind the bunny? Only you can decide. Are they really American? He's Irish. There's no way that's American. to kick off the final. 
It's a name I've, I'm going to stick with. I think you're Donny Osmond. That's what I think you are. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Joss, so who are you thinking? Maybe the carrots is a clue. So you could be either Ed Sheeran or Prince Harry. Oh, I love that. What a reveal that would be. Wow. We've never heard Harry oh, sing, love so this. it could be him. Jonathan, what are you thinking? I heard an Irish accent when he was singing. OK. You hear that sound, Mo? That's the sound when you get a guess right. OK, so... <laughs> when you play video games, you go to the different areas in the video games, what are those areas called? Levels? Levels. Or zones. Yeah. Could it be someone from a band with the name Boy Zone? Oh. Mr. Ronan Keating in there, ladies and gentlemen. Very popular choice in the studio. Rita, do you think that's Roman Keating in there? I do think I heard a little bit of an Irish twang in there. Your voice sounds exactly like Mark Fahili from Westlife. Mark oh. Fahili, there OK. There we go. Davina. The video game thing feels quite kind of retro, quite, like, 80s, 90s, and Busted had a song called 90s. So I'm going to stay with Charlie Simpson. That's a good one. I believe you have one final clue for us, Robo Bunny. For the last time, why don't you take a look for yourself, wise guy? Okay, it's a very aggressive, Bunny. <laughs> um, uh, there's a QR code on the uh, back. Okay. Oh, Let me uh, take a. I'm very modern on this show. Oh, it says winning the Mars Singer would be my second greatest achievement. Second. I think I'm close with Donny Osmond because he was on the US Mars Singer as a peacock. And I think he won that one. Oh, really? So this might be his second yeah, yeah, achievement. Donnie did win, you're right. Yeah. You're just going around the world, just killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the deceiver behind the levers? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Robo Bunny. <laughs> Have the panel finally fused together this robot's identity? Who do you think our bunny is? My mask might be about to come off, but mark my words. This ain't the last you've heard of this bunny. Robo Bunny, you will be going first. Panda and Mushroom, please go and get ready for your performances. Head off down the tunnel. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who You'll be performing with Mars Singer Royalty. Please welcome back to the stage, Queen B. Yeah! Yeah!
Take it off, take it off, take it off. It's the government. Hello, Nicola. What's it like getting getting back in the costume, Nicola? It's nice. Like the bee is home. This is where she belongs. So it's lovely. Have you got any idea who you are duetting with? I haven't been told, but I know who it is. Oh, oh what? Who do you think what? it is? How do you know? He sang four words, and I was like, "You knew." Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> and who do you think it is? Well, I I don't want to. I'm fine. not going to make it easy for you. Like you have to guess. Tell us. Tell us. Marks from Westlife. All of my teenage dreams. I think my are completely yeah, I think you're right. Oh my I think gosh, I'm right. I never I think, knew yeah. you listened to Donny Osmond as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely bamboozling me. Well, Nicola, thank you so Aww. much. Honestly, it's been an absolute Stop joy it, having you back. Thank you, guys. Nice oh. to see you. Let's hear it for Robo Bunny and Queen B, aka Nicola Roberts. I can't believe I got to sing with Queen B. Her voice is as sweet as honey. I hope she's passed on some winner's luck. I can reveal that in no particular order, the first mass singer going through is. Wow! Robo Bunny and Panda, that means one of you is in the final two and the other will be unmasked immediately. Oh my god. The second mass singer returning to perform again later in the show is Mushroom and Panda, everybody. Congratulations. One of you will be crowned our winner. Go, girl. Oh, let's hear it for Robo Bunny, everybody. Very, very shortly, you will be removing your mask. But first, of course, uh, okay. panel, yes. who do you think is behind the mask? Mo. Oh, man, I think you are Donny Osmond. That's what I think you are. Wrong and strong, Mo. I like it. <laughs> Davina. Charlie Simpson. Charlie Simpson, I like it. Just... Uh, I think you're Prince Harry. <laughs> I like I'm just kind of hoping. <laughs> Rita. Oh, I'm going to go with Mark Fahili from Westlife. Love that. Jonathan. I'm going to say it's Ronan Keating. Oh, yes. Well, there's like... only one way to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Robo Bunny, who's behind the mask? Take it off! Well done, Rita. I knew it! <laughs> oh, from Westlife! <laughs> Soon as I heard that Irish tank, I literally was like, this person's Irish, and then I was like, oh, it's Mark! I'm a big fan, so I'm actually freaking out. <laughs> Can I ask, how did you do your arms and the rabbit mouth? Yes. I've got, like, I had a little... Sort of thing so like you're that, thinking mechanism. about that as well? Yeah, as I mean, singing. I have to say, normally I just stand there with a mic and sing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mark, normally you just sit there on a stall and sing, is what I think yeah, you never yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> How was it singing as a rabbit and as a robot? I mean, the whole thing was a challenge, but doing this has kind of 
allowed it's me to you. explore my voice as well, you know. And I've always loved to have, have a laugh and stuff like that. Yeah. And I've also spent the last two years with my little baby, so I've been watching a lot of cartoons oh. and everything. So it's Amazing. all coming out through this, you know. Yeah. That's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for Layla. Oh. And so they don't know that you're doing the shows? Nobody knows. The guys in the band don't know. Wow. Honestly, like, trying to kind of tell the lads that I'm, I'm going to stay in London for an extra couple of days because I'm <laughs> just going to chill out. And they're like, but you have a baby in Ireland, like, so... <laughs> Everyone's going to think you're having an affair. You better clear yes. the air. When you yeah. <laughs> I need to get home really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoyed being on the show? Yeah, I've absolutely loved it, honestly. Um, sometimes I thought maybe I've challenged myself too much, but I just stuck with it, and actually, I had a confidence that I've never felt before in this oh. suit, and I think I'll take that home with me, you know? Yeah. It's really cool, man. Honestly. Really, really cool. Thanks for having me, honestly. It's been an absolute pleasure. You've been so Woo! great. We've absolutely loved having you. Performing for us one final time on Mark at Last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mark Feeney! I'll sing it one last time for you Then we really have to go You've been the only thing that's right and all I've done No Lighter Lighter As if you have a choice Even if you cannot hear Thank you, Mark Feely, everybody! <laughs> Back.